Hey guys, this video is about how I cut a pound and a half out of my backpack just by looking at my cook set and my stove. Your cook set, your stove, it's an individual decision. But hopefully in this video it gives you some thoughts about how to refine your own setup. <music> just getting into backpacking don't spend a lot of time researching trying to figure out what the perfect uh, stove is what the perfect cook set is because here's what's gonna happen whatever you buy at first you're gonna go out you're gonna get into the field and you're gonna try it out and you're gonna see things that you either use or don't use things you like things you don't like you're never gonna do something exactly the same way as anybody that you're doing the research on so you can pick up you know one of your favorite youtubers and say this is what i'm going to do it doesn't matter it may not fit your style so that's exactly where i started i got on youtube i enjoyed a few videos from certain people and i watched what they had and i said oh that'll be the place i start so i went out and i picked up an msr whisper light stove i picked up a pot and cook set from rei that had a fry pan because i thought you know hey i might want to fry up some fish every time i go out so this setup here ended up costing me two and a half pounds in my backpack. And so here's what I found. I'm carrying around that extra two and a half pounds. Never once did I fry a fish. Never once did I even use the frying pan. I started off, I thought I might like to put my food into the actual pan. I hate doing dishes on the trail. So all of those things I learned by being out on the trail. I also found out that after putting 15 miles on the trail in a day, when I get into camp, I just want to eat. I don't want to have to worry about rehydrating a bunch of stuff. I don't want to have to worry about uh, cooking, actually cooking in camp. So I wasn't going to fry fish in that kind of a setup. So I started to look at Mountain House. That pushed me into my first change. I went from this shorter plastic spoon to a titanium spoon with a longer handle, just because I didn't want to get spaghetti on my knuckles. And I went and I got this Tokes 750 milliliter pot just enough for my water, for coffee in the morning, and then also for my mountain house meal at the end of the day. I also took a look at my stove and I went for my uh, MSR Whisper Light and I went over and tried a pocket rocket. It was fine, I like the pocket rocket. It uses the canister, saved me a little bit of weight in terms of the weight of the fuel. But then I found this BRS off of Amazon for like 15 bucks. So here's the setup that I'm carrying right now and this is why. I have one sack that has my pot, my stove, my mug in it, and then I carry my spoon. Inside here, I have my Tokes 750 milliliter with my BRS stove. And what I've done is kind of mixed it up a little bit. I really like the mug, the insulated mug and the lid for my coffee in the morning, so I carry that. Just took it from that cook set and I carry it now with this one. This is less than half a pound. Now sometimes, depending on where I'm at, I might take a comfort item. I have this GSI mug here. You can buy these at REI, I think they're 15 bucks. It's uh, just a nice little mug. I carry this and, and I have a koozie for it. I put that on. So I might trade out my other GSI insulated nesting mug that I got from my GSI cook set. And sometimes I trade it out with this just because it's a little luxury but it does cost me in the weight. So here's some other things to consider because it isn't just about base weight and it's not just about looking at the stove itself. When I was carrying the Whisper Light, the MSR, which by the way, I still really enjoy for my winter trips or if I'm cooking for the family and I don't have to worry about weight. But when I carry that, I've also got to carry the canister that has my fuel in it. And every time I take that MSR, I also take the field kit in case I have to do repairs out in the field. This all adds weight. When I was looking at just the stoves, I did look at an alcohol stove, a cat food alcohol stove, instead of my BRS. It would have saved me 0.2 of an ounce. So if you're just looking at base weight, the cat food alcohol stove wins. But if you think about how much the fuel weighs and you consider that, what I found is, depending on the length of the trip, the weight of the alcohol for the alcohol stove weighed more 
than the canister did for the exact same number of boils. Now I know you might be like Suge and really like how quiet the cat food stove is. Then carry the weight. For me, I want a fast, loud boil that gets me to eating and drinking my coffee. So here's the thing. I'm not trying to convince you that my way is the right way. I'm just trying to give you some thoughts about things you could be thinking about to lighten your load. You're not going to figure it out if you're just getting started by sitting here watching YouTube videos. Get started, get out in the field, and figure out what you like. Enjoy yourself out on the trail.